Yo, what's good? It's your boy, your mama, a.k.a. Hi, haters. How you? A.k.a. All of the lights. A.k.a. Keep your mouth quiet. Joe Paterno. I said, a.k.a. Keep your mouth quiet. Joe Paterno, we are in the building. The greatest goddamn Madden streamer. It ain't even goddamn close, man. We get the most views on podcasts. We get the most views on YouTube. We are just the biggest thing smoking right now. And, and I'm back at it again. You know, it's been a while since I've been back. So, you know what I mean? So, uh, welcome your boy back, man. Well, welcome to goddamn go back on the podcast because I've been doing my um, Facebook series. I got another one. Uh, 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 I got another one dropping this weekend. So y'all got to go check that out. It's a real good one. It's a guy that I played on Facebook. I lost to him, but it, I'm dog. When I show you the guy that I played, bro, it's I'm loving this Facebook shit, bro. It's a fat dude, sweaty neck. It, it, it was just amazing. It was amazing. But yeah, um, I'm going to have that shit up for you guys this Saturday. It's also coming with a music video. Every fucking Facebook guy I play and um, I'm going to get, I have a music video for him. So um, just a heads up, the guy looks like, you know, um, anybody ever watched the Coolio uh, video, um, Gangster Paradise, you know, the fat dude in Gangster Paradise that sings, that's the guy I played. So, <laughs> so you already know we having fun with that one. But let's get straight to the news. You guys already know what time it is. Big news today. Skimbo. Skimbo, if you was watching his Twitch today, he quit early. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't like the patch. My man Skimbo does not like the patch. And he wrote this out. I have never cut a stream off short because of Madden. <laughs> you should have been. Didn't you Listen. Dog, this game's been dog shit for a long time. You should have cut. You should have. You shouldn't even started streaming. To be honest with you, <laughs> you should have got off Twitch about like three years ago. This game is dog shit. But he said, "I've never, never cut the um a uh, stream short in Madden. Today was the first day ever. This was the worst patch in the history of Madden. Bugged out of its mind. How do you even allow this to get pushed out? I don't know if devs are mad at me." This is pathetic. So let me tell you something. <laughs> um, scum, sk um, Skimbo is worried about the devs being mad at him. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't care. I do not care if those devs are mad at me. This is dog shit. And then Kiv tweets out, it should be embarrassed. Laugh out loud. We are actually playing a beta. Yeah, we've been playing beta since day one. <laughs> we are. We've been playing this beta. Now, listen. I've been said this about Madden and, and, and I'm not going to hold back at all. Cause I've never held back a day in my life, but I've been said this. I said, listen, Madden community. I said, this game is dog shit. The fucking reason why, why are we spending money on this dog shit and never, never patch anything. It's just, it's in the DNA of Madden. Patches do not work. I said this day one when the game came out. I said, please, God, Jesus, Lord, do not patch. Do not do anything, EA devs. And you remember I got all this shit thrown at me by Trey and the rest of these fucking morons in the Madden community talking about all, all they need to do is change this. All they need to do is change that. I said, oh, I said, as soon as EA makes any kind of change in the game, something else is going to get fucking broken. Was I right? Of course I was, because as soon as they did that first patch, guess what? Shit started bugging out, shit started not working, and then all of a sudden glitches started popping up, the RPO, all the other dog shit. I've been said this. I said every time EA releases Madden, stop fucking patching. Be comfortable with what you made. Stop going, okay, uh, let's look around. Like... You guys make billions of fucking dollars. You telling me you guys can't get testers out there and just fucking figure things out and then just release the game and leave it alone? Y'all can't do that? They've been doing that for centuries. But anyway, that's EA Sports for you. So my man, Skimbo, it had to cut his stream off. The bugs in this game is just too ridiculous for him. And let me tell y'all something else. Let me tell y'all motherfuckers something else. Let me tell you motherfuckers something else. EA Sports decided... Instead of fixing their fucking game, you know what EA decided to do? They tweeted out. You know what they decided to do? They started. They decided to get with uh, cancel culture. You know, um, they decided to delete John Gruden from their game. And this is what they tweeted. EA Sports is committed to talk, taking action in maintaining culture of in inclusive inclusion and equality due to the 
uh, circumstances of John Gruden's resignation, we are taking steps to remove him from Madden 22. This is what EA is doing. Instead of fixing their dog shit game, they're taking John Gruden out for the cancel culture. Like anybody gives a fuck. <laughs> Nobody in the Madden community gives a shit, right? Nobody in the LBGT, uh, the um, LGBT community ever plays Madden anyway. None of the people you're trying to um, 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 satisfy play fucking Madden. So I don't even understand why EA even fucking did this. You know, we're, we're, we're taking steps to take John Gruden out. <laughs> You need to take steps to making your game better, to fixing these fucking dog shit bugs. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're taking John Gruden out. And guess what John Gruden's response to this was? Look at John Gruden's response. This is John, <laughs> John Gruden was like, fuck yeah. Out of everything that's happened to me these past couple of weeks, being taken out of this dog shit game has been the best news ever. <laughs> John Gruden said all I had to do was send out some racists and some fucking LGB community fucked up um, emails and they I could have got taken out of Madden. Fuck yeah, I've been trying to get taken out of this fucking dog shit game for the longest. <laughs> Nobody wants to be a part of your game, EA. Not even fucking Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick said, if you niggas put me in your game, I'm suing. <laughs> Come on, EA. Nobody gives a fuck if you take John Gruden out. And then they try to make it seem like they're this, they're, oh, we're bigger than thou. Look at this shit that they tweeted out. Look at this. Look at this. EA Sports is committed. They said they're committed to taking action and maintaining a culture of inclusion and, and equality. In qua, e e equality. Now, listen. Listen to me. EA tweeted this shit out, right? This dog shit out. We're, 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 listen, we're committed. They're committed, right? The same day they tweeted this out. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. The same fucking day EA tweeted this out, this video was made. Let me, let me show y'all. This is how committed EA Sports is. This is how to, 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 um, to um, fighting a, a, a culture and inclu e inclusion, right? Right, right? To fighting racism. That's what we're doing. We're fighting racism. We're against racism. Wait a minute. The same fucking day they tweeted this out, this video pops up. Their top, their top plays in Madden Championship Series history. What? What is this? Oh, no. Uh, what is this? One yards. And he'll hand it off one more time. Little stop and go. Little uh -oh. spin to the uh -oh. other way. And Chris Johnson. No way. No way. He's got to no get it. Voltrex with maybe the craziest run I've ever seen. They honor Voltrex? <laughs> Wait a minute. The same day you guys said you guys are committed to, to equality and getting rid of racism. The same day you tweeted this bullshit out to take out John Gruden, you guys made a Madden EA video honoring Voltrex? <laughs> The guy who sent out nigger Texas to a 16 year old boy? Yeah. <laughs> We're committed. <laughs> this company is dog shit. <laughs> EA Sports, you're dog shit, okay? The same day you tweeted this dog shit out, you gave an honorary salute to the most racist nigga in the community. Matter of fact, John Gruden didn't do it. Nothing is, he didn't do nothing as close as what fucking Botrex did. John Gruden never said nigger. He never, he never even tweeted to a 16 year old boy saying some wild outlandish shit like that. No, he didn't do that. John Gruden may have said some wild ass shit. But he didn't say the wild shit that fucking Votrex said. But yet you honored Votrex the same day you said you were committed to taking care of racists? Man, get the fuck out of my face, EA. You guys are dog shit. <laughs> EA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we're committed. <laughs> the same day they honored Votrex in a fucking video. Come on, y'all. Like, not even just MCS. I'm talking about any Madden I've ever watched. Any, any, anywhere. And it's the reason why he won the whole belt. Like that play was insane. I can't think of a play even like in regular games that was like that. Oh my goodness. That was the they honored Voltrex. That's, you know what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about with this shit with EA Sports? You're not committed. 
you're not committed to fighting racism. You're not committed to um fighting against in inclusion and all that other shit that you guys tweet out. How are you going to take care of John Gruden, but you can't even take care of Votrex? You can't even take care of the shit that's in your own community. You didn't have to make this man number one. You didn't have to make this top play. You could have said, yo, we're committed to getting rid of this whole um, racism shit. We're not going to even involve ourselves with anything Votrex. But they didn't do that. Now, listen to me. I'm not with the whole cancel culture shit. You know, I'm not with it. I believe that Votrex should play in Madden tournaments. I believe that Votrex should be in events. I believe that if a person is racist or however they feel or however, that's how they feel. And I think it's a video game and they should not be trying to be involved in this cancel culture, Black Lives Matter. They shouldn't, you're a video game, dog. People should just enjoy your game, have fun, play it, and that's it. You should not be involved in this shit. But EA loves to get themselves involved in bullshit that has nothing to do with them. John Gruden being in the game or out of the game is doing nothing for yourselves, is doing nothing for your community. People didn't see you take out John Gruden and go, now I feel a lot better about playing Madden. Fuck no. People still complaining about your dog. You, nigga, just fix your game. That's all you got to do. Fix your glitches. Fix your bugs. Stop trying to do shit that has nothing to do with making the game better. Period. I'm not, a, I'm not with the cancel culture. If a nigga want to be racist, if a motherfucker want to feel how he want to feel, I believe he should be a part of everything. I like a motherfucker that'll tell you how he is in front of your face. At least you know. I don't like them motherfuckers who like to be fake, you know, behind your back, like to be something that they not. I don't like those people. I like the people that, that I respect Votrex for being racist. If he's a racist motherfucker, he's a racist motherfucker. At least he let you know that. At least I know what Votrex is. You know what I mean? And I don't want to cancel him. I didn't think EA should have suspended him. I don't think none of that shit. I don't think none of that shit. I think you should just let people be who they are. If they criminals, if they do crime, whatever. But EA is trying to, uh, trying, to, trying to erase everybody's fucking past and all that other shit. You know, they should let people be them, okay? But stop trying to be involved in this cancel culture and this Black Lives Matters when you know you're not, you don't give a fuck about Black Lives Matters. You don't give a fuck about the LGBTQ community. You don't give a shit about none of that shit. But I don't know who the fuck you're trying to fool with these dumbass tweets about getting rid of John Gruden. You should have been getting rid of RPO. That should have been your announcement that we're trying to fix our game. But no, they don't do that. Game is EA is dog shit. You don't give a shit about racism and you don't give a shit about fucking LGBTQ and transgender and all that other shit. You don't care about that. Okay? You don't care about Colin Kaepernick because you dog shit walked him when it wasn't popular. But now that it's popular to love Colin Kaepernick, we love Colin Kaepernick. We're going to put Colin Kaepernick in the game again. We're going to put, we're going to make Colin Kaepernick on every team. We're going to hit Colin Kaepernick's 85 overall. This goddamn rainbow, goddamn, no wonder why your fucking game is dog shit. And no wonder why the community's dog ass. Now, and that's why, that's why, um, fucking, um, that's why, uh, goddamn, um, 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 fucking, fucking uh skimbo had to say had to say this shit this is why skimbo had to say i don't care if devs are mad at me see what i'm talking about now listen to me madden community and i told y'all this from the go i am the most feared madden person on earth because i it, respectfully for the last years couple of years i've come out against the devs and i came out against these people that have been making this dog shit game i've been real this whole time but you saw what Skimbo said right there. You see that? He does, I don't care. He said, I don't care if I upset the devs. Speaking your mind upsets these people. If you tell them how you really feel, Skimbo would have been shitted on these guys or been talking shit about Madden. But he didn't want to upset the devs because what? They try to keep close ties with you. You know, they try to be friendly with you. You don't think Clint and the rest of these guys, these devs, been in my DM trying to be friendly with me? Hey, yo, mama, man, you're a good guy, man. Can I, you know, that's how they that's how they operate to keep you from talking, saying some real shit. But they couldn't get me, though. I'm too real. I'm too fucking real. The most feared. Yeah, that's right. But that's why I'm the most feared. But you know what really pisses me off? <clears throat> you know what really pisses guys like this? Let's go roll it, man. We, we on expose time. Guys like this. This is what pisses me off about the man. Cali hot seat. What this guy? This guy, Cali 
hot seat. Let's let's expose him today. Let's do some exposing. This man right here, right? This this man right here, he uses my fucking name, right? In all his videos for drama, right? To to make it the Cali hot seat. In order for it to be a hot seat, he has to bring up your mama's name and then insert drama behind me. Like, oh, yo, you have beef with your mama because of things you said with Dubby. Instead of just saying, you know what, Ragoose? You got beef with Dub Dubby. Um, Dubby said some shit. Um, can you explain to us why, why you join needed or something like that? He didn't do that. He did some scary ass shit. And he said, you got drama with your mama over some Dubby tweets. Trying to use me to get him to talk about Dubby. You see what I'm talking about, Madden community? And he calls it the Cali hot seat. To bring my name into the drama. And then when I asked him to come on my show, on this show, this Friday, when I called Cali to come on my show, he, oh, no, I'm good, man. What kind of fucking shit is that? How do you call yourself the Cali hot seat, but you're afraid to come on anybody else's show to sit in a hot seat so they can ask you some fucking questions? That's some dogs. This is what I'm talking about, the Madden community. This is why I say this about the Madden. Don't, all these niggas are fake as fuck. They're fearful. They're not real. And they, and they act like, oh man, you, you know, I, 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 I'm about to, I, 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 no, he stuttered. As soon as I said, yo, come on my show. I want to ask you some questions about this shit that you keep on bringing my name into. Uh, <laughs> I'm good, yo mama. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Because you knew I was going to expose your ass. And today is exposing day today. We exposing this. This is, let me show y'all what he said. Let me show y'all. I, I got the video. Watch, check this out. Check this out. Go, run it. Uh, what's the drama between you and your mama? Because I heard that he was, uh, he was saying that you weren't cool with what Dubby said. And now you're in the, you know, now you're on the stream team. See how he uses me? <laughs> you see how this man uses me? Yo, 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 what's the drama with you and your mama? Cause, cause you know, you're on, you're on W stream team and did, you wanted him, you wanted to ask Ragu, Ragusa about the, um, why he joined needed and the tweets that, um, 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 W tweeted out. That's what you wanted to get to. Instead of just asking him about that or asking him or giving him those questions, you brought me into the mix. You said, oh, well, you got beef with your mama. <laughs> you see that? And I had to ask him about it. I wanted to say, yo, why do you keep bringing my name into your shit? I'm not even in your show. I'm not on your show. I'm not in. Why do you bring me up to ask a question? You know what I mean? Why did, yeah, exactly. Yo, yo, what's the drama with you and your mama? Yo, yo, your mama said something about you. You want to ask him about that. You want to make it Cali hot seat, then make it a hot seat. And you ask the question. Don't bring me into it. Your mama could do his own interviews. I can, I can, I can bring these people. I can bring these people on my show and I can ask them straight up questions. I don't need to be like, yo, uh, I saw you on the Cali hot seat show. And, uh, yeah, man. Um, what about that drama with you and Cali? I don't do that shit. I don't do that. If I'm going to say something to somebody, if I'm going to ask them a fucking question, I'm going to ask them a direct question straight up. I'm not going to bring some, a third party into it, especially if he's not even on the show. But that's not why we're here, though. We here to expose Cali Hotsey. This is not exposing him. No, no, no. This is not exposing him. You know how I get down, right? Yeah, everybody. I need some ones. Let me see some. Let me see some motherfucking ones. If you want to see some real exposure. Let me see some fucking ones. I need to see. I need everybody in this motherfucker watching. I need to see ones. I just want, if you really want me to go, if you really know about your mama and you know how your mama get fucking down and you know that I got video, video camera, video evidence on fucking Cali Hasi. If you really want me to shit on this motherfucker, if you really want me to do some real your mama shit and y'all motherfuckers is in here, I need to see some fucking ones drop. And, 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 and these ain't ones that because, oh, Callie might see this and see niggas want to fuck him up. No, no, no. These are some ones because you know how your mama get fucking down. You know I'm about to really bring up the video that's really going to shit on this. If you really want to see that shit right now and you watching, I need to see some motherfucking ones in this bitch. Let me see some goddamn ones because you know how I do it, man. I, you know how I do it. You know how I get down. You know I got video evidence. I don't, I don't just come exposing motherfuckers with nothing you know i got something you know i got something 
Let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. Here we go. Let's let's bring it up. I just want to make sure y'all niggas is watching. I want to make sure y'all motherfuckers is paying attention. I want y'all. I want to make sure y'all motherfuckers is paying attention. Check this out. We exposing today. Check this out. <clears throat> so, Cali Hasi. This Cali Hasi dude. He decided he wanted to do IRL, right? <laughs> he wanted to do an IRL video. He said, I want to do IRL, me playing basketball. Look at this nigga playing basketball. This is, you know, a real nigga. He's not a real one. I did. You can never do Cali Hasi again after this exposure. This man got crossed over by a dude that weighs 400 pounds. <laughs> he got crossed over by a dude that weighs 400 pounds. On oh, oh, IRL, check this out. Go run the video. It's a lie. It's a video. Run this. This is Cali. Now this is cat. Now right here in the red, this is Cali hot seat, right? And this is the 500 pound dude that he's guarding. Check this shit out. Go run it. Look at this. Look, crossed him over and did a step back. The nigga hit a step back jumper. <laughs> How do a 500 pound nigga hit a step back jumper on you? He's 500 fucking pounds and he hit a step back jumper on you, dog. You can never do a hot seat again. Matter of fact, you want a hot seat. This nigga hit a step back. Look at it and made it. And then look at him jogging up field with his titties bouncing. Look at his titties bouncing up here. We gonna run that in slow mo cause y'all niggas didn't see that for real. This nigga's 500, this nigga's 500 pounds, bro. He, he got crossed over by a 500 pound dude with his titties jiggling. And then he hit a step back jumper on him live. No, you can never be. You can never do another Cali high seat again. This is you being exposed. Go slow motion. Look at the fat nigga catch the ball. Look at this. He tried to reach. Look at his slow ass crossover and he missed it. And then the fat nigga does a step back jumper. Look at his titties jiggle as he runs down the court after hitting that step back. Look at him titties jiggle. Look at him fucking titties jiggle. Look at him fucking titties. You can never do another Cali hot seat again, dog. You're dog shit in basketball. You're a black dude and you got crossed over by a 500 pound dude. And not only did he cross you over, but he hit a step back. A fat nigga hitting a step back on you? A fat nigga with big ass titties hitting a step back jumper on you, dog. And you put that shit out there? You uploaded that? Why? <laughs> Fat nigga hit a step back on you, bro. Come on, man. You was a mouse in the house the whole game. You was a house. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did he say that? I don't talk to that nigga no more. Uh, Lilo. That game was dead ass. <laughs> He said, I thought that was Escalade. <laughs> no, nah, Escalade could actually dribble, dog. Don't even go there. That nigga did a, a slow motion crossover. That shit was like this. And that nigga still couldn't get the ball. <laughs> and then he hit a step back on the nigga. <laughs> That'll never happen to me, dog. I never seen a I never seen a 500 pound nigga do a, hit a step back on somebody. Like, and he was slow as hell. <laughs> God damn. Never, i never seen nothing like that before. And look at the nigga dribbling. Look at the nigga with the titties dribbling down the court. He ain't never hit a step back before. Bro, you are trash, dog. You are playing basketball like this. After that nigga hit the step back on you, listen to me, dog. <clears throat> uh, uh. Yeah. Listen, after this nigga hit a step back on you, bro. And, and listen, if a fat nigga ever hits a step back on you, everybody in here that play basketball, you know what got to happen, right? He disrespected you. He had a he crossed you over and hit a step back on you. What do you have to do if you guys out here after a nigga does that to you? What needs to happen for you? What needs to happen if a nigga does that to you in your face? It's a step back jumper in your face after cro crossing you over. What do you got to do? Every basketball nigga in here know you need the ball back. You need to get your get back, right? So this nigga, after hitting that step back on him, you would think Cali Hot Seat 
would be like, yo, give me the ball. No, 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 no. Clear it out. Give me the fucking ball. This nigga just, this 500 pound nigga just hit a step back jumper on me. I need the ball. Did he ask for the ball? Fuck no. Hell no. And look at where the fat nigga's guarding him at. Look at this. He don't even dis he don't even respect the nigga. Look how far back off he is after hitting a step back on you. You got a 500 pound nigga guarding you. You should have the ball every time. <laughs> you, this nigga's 500 pounds. <laughs> I mean, come on. I would, he has to be last pick. <laughs> Every time he goes to 24 hours, Cali Hasid is last pick. It's, it's official. It's official. That nigga has to be last pick. Every time. Every time. Every time. He has to be last pick. He has to be. He has to be. There's no way. You guys are dog shit at, at basketball. Oh no. Oh no, he's mousing the house. <laughs> Look at the fat nigga calling for the ball on Cali. No, he ain't calling for the ball on you, Cali. He's calling him for the ball on him. Look at this. We got to put it in slow motion. We got to put that in slow motion. This is really exposing this nigga right now today. This is, I, I needed to. Oh, he's backing him. Look at the fat nigga backing him down. Fat nigga backing him down. Oh. Uh. You know, oh my God, the nigga. <laughs> The nigga so dog shit. He tried to hit a fucking a, 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 a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar hook shot. <laughs> the nigga tried a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar hook shot. <laughs> These niggas, where the fuck you playing at, nigga? <laughs> 1972. <laughs> this nigga tried a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar hook shot. <laughs> Yo, if this nigga make it, I'm done. <laughs> Yo, this shit is fucking hilarious. Bricked it. He bricked it. Okay, he bricked it. He should have bricked that. That nigga tried to create, hit a Kareem Abdul Jabbar hook shot, bro. Cali hot seat, man. <laughs> you got, yeah, you got exposed, bro. Listen, don't ever let a 500 pound nigga cross you over and hit a fucking step back jumper. You know we gonna do that. You know what we gonna do today. You know how it's going down. But anyway, that's not even why we're here. <clears throat> it's not even why we're here today. We're here today because my man Dub.W had his podcast yesterday and he had Gut Fox on here and they had a conversation. They had a good conversation. Well, I, Gut Fox had the great conversation. Uh, w didn't know what the fuck he was talking about, but let's play it right here. Let's play it right here. Um, they're talking about the, why did EA sports? Well, you'll see, go ahead, go ahead. Good Fox run it. All right. Comp Matt. Why did Comp Madden die in the mid 2010s? Uh, I think first of all, I'll be honest. I was, tw I played Madden 08 and Madden 09 pretty comp, you know, going all the tournaments and everything oh, between that. I definitely had like. I was like, tw I don't know how these kids do it when they're like 21 to 26 playing Madden. Like, that's all they do. I really was kind of playing, but I wasn't like locked in like I was, you know, now that I'm an older guy. So, 08, 09. Uh, I, I want to <laughs> say Virgin Gaming was really popping. Then they had a big, a big like fight kind of in one of the nice. He asked them, why the fuck did the comp, comp Madden die after 2010? First and foremost, the Virgin Gaming, that wasn't, that, they didn't have a fight at the Virgin Gaming tournament. <laughs> That's already, he already doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. The Virgin Gaming tournament, the Virgin Gaming tournament was 2010 to 2011, and it was in Vegas, and it was one in New York. There was no fights at none of those events. So the big fight didn't happen at any fucking sponsored event. The fight happened in Vegas in 2013 and this was a underground tournament ran by ATL Gamer Society had nothing to do with Virgin Gaming or any sponsored tournaments okay and so that the 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 the, the Madden events Madden tournaments died in the mid 2010s because remember 
Best Buy pulled out, right? You guys remember, Best Buy was the one who sponsored and did all of the MCS tournaments. They were the ones traveling the city to city to city to city and doing, it had nothing to do with EA. It had everything to do with Best Buy. And the reason why Best Buy pulled out in 2010, and I know this because I was working with Virgin Gaming at the time, and we got the contract with, to do the new MCS, is because Best Buy got slated by EA Sports and ESPN. Remember, the Madden, Madden Nation and, and EA Sports was doing, you remember that EA Sports commercial I showed you with Billy Wolf? Well, that tournament that Billy Wolf was dancing and shit was a, a Best Buy tournament, right? They did, they put all the money up. They did all the, they did all the work. And then EA used that video capture and put it in a commercial and Best Buy felt like, Hey, what the fuck? You're using our shit and put it in commercials. That's not cool. And they gave them a warning. They, they already gave them a warning about Mad Nation because EA, ESPN did it with Mad Nation. They would use clips from the Best Buy tournaments and put it into, um, in, into the, um, um, the Mad Nation series. And Best Buy told um, EA, stop using our shit. These are our tournaments. If you want to pay for the images or if you want to pay for the shit at our events, yes, but you can't. But EA kept doing it. So Best Buy pulled out and said, we're not doing the Mad Challenge no more. That's why Best Buy pulled out of the Mad Challenge. And that's why in 2010, it died because guess what? <clears throat> we wasn't traveling no more. There wasn't no more MCS because Best Buy left. And they also didn't like the GameStop shit too. Because GameStop was holding Madden tournaments and Best Buy was like, what the fuck? I thought we were exclusive. So <clears throat> Best Buy pulled out. That's why. Go Men's ahead. and stuff and it kind of died down in Virgin. And, and honestly, I don't know what happened to the Madden about. Challenge. I, don't, I honestly happened. don't have answers. What I just explained it. See, that's why, that's why me and Gut Fox need to have a conversation. See, because I know why. I was there. I was working with the company at the time. Best Buy pulled out. That's why the Madden Challenge left. Because Best Buy said, wait a minute. You, first of all, you got to, you, you're, you're fucking with GameStop. You know, you got GameStop tournaments going on and they're doing it for free. And here we are putting all this money into these tournaments, traveling and all this other shit. And you're letting people, you're using our image and you're using our videos and all this other shit to, 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 to push sales of your game, but you're not pushing Best Buy. So that's why Best Buy pulled out. And, and then Virgin Gaming came along and said, we'll take it. <clears throat> but we'll take it online. <clears throat> so that's inside information that a lot of you guys don't know. Cause I was working with Virgin at the time and uh, the Best Buy people that gave us a lot of their equipment explained why they pulled out of the MCS. They said it was because, they, cause it wasn't because Best Buy was losing money. Best Buy was making good money and it was advertising Best Buy's products. So Best Buy was good with the whole, they would have they kept going to the Madden Challenge to this day. It was just that, they felt like they was getting fucked over because, like, again, all those videos that was being captured at MCS's uh, going to Arizona, going to Texas, going to New York, going all these places and all these people, these personalities and everybody dancing and doing all this screaming and all that shit. They felt like these, this, that belonged to us. But EA was pro using that shit to promote their game, to do commercials, to do Mad Nation. And, and Best Buy wasn't getting any kind of coverage for that. you know. So that's why Best Buy was like, man, fuck you. We're, we're out. <laughs> and that's how the MCS died. It died. It had nothing to do with EA because EA never had the idea to go travel to state to state. It was all Best Buy money. Best Buy put up the money. Best Buy put up the travel. Best Buy put up, held up the uh, events. They did all the work. They just, EA just gave them the, the permission to do it. The license. That's it happened to it for the most part uh but i don't know i think i i i think it was low viewership right when they're back nope. on, on regs and stuff and nope here's the thing That's it's like it. if comp madden stayed in regs i've i got no problem at all yeah I, I, it, it's perfectly fine like comp madden the best thing about comp madden and and why right. i think it's it's great what is that? the it fact that it's regs. given you and so many other people that just it, it <clears throat> i was playing in tournaments games in philly madden underground tournaments yeah yeah, yeah. You was playing in them tournaments? Yeah, man. Those, those tournaments was fucking... Those underground tournaments was live. When EA... Uh, when uh, when uh, Virgin Gaming uh, gate didn't want to do it anymore and all the tournaments was underground, those was, those were some good tournaments. Only thing was the payouts was bad, though. That was the only thing. The payouts was dog shit. Like, it was dog shit payouts. But, I mean, what can a tournament director do with no, like, sponsorship? You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but again, like I said, uh, yeah, that's the reason why the MCS died out. It had nothing to do with viewership. The views was tough. As a matter of fact, it was better back then because, like I said, Best Buy would go city to city. It would, it, it, and and you and and dude, when we went to these cities, and if you guys remember going to these man challenges, when we went to these cities, thousands of people would show up, bro. It would be thousands of Madden players every city we went to. I even went to one in, I think, um, where we was at. I think uh, uh, Oklahoma or somewhere like that. Dude, it was like a thousand people, bro. And we had one. I went to the one in uh, Minnesota in the big ass mall that they got, the world's biggest mall. Man, it was so fucking packed. They had to stop having in New York. They had to they had to cut people off. It was too many people. The, the Madden Challenges was bomb it, and it was in regs and the viewership was still high. It was just that, again, EA does what they do, man. They could, all they had to do was tell, use Best Buy and say, yo, Best Buy, we'll use your image in the next commercial or, you know, we won't fuck you over. Best Buy felt fucked over. Play Madden. Mall of Money America. to pursue Fast. that passion. All right. That's, that's great. And, and I think that's awesome that EA puts that money out there that people can live off it, right? Like, yeah. you know, you got a bunch of like pro professional streamers that don't have to, oh, not streamers, sorry, players that don't have to stream. Uh, and they get that. All right. Yeah. Now, that would have been great. And, I, and if it stayed in regs right. and you got balanced regs around it, played your squads. Cause no, when when they when uh, EA forced y'all into MUT, there was a lot of negative talk. They hated MUT. They didn't want to come into MUT. They liked regs. They wanted to stay in regs. Mm -hmm. And I was like, please stay in regs. Like, uh, we're the yeah. MUT, we're doing okay here, right? We're, yeah, we're, yeah, that's true. We're just living our own world. It was that's such true. an underground, like, like, it wasn't like the biggest part of MAD at the time, but yeah, it now it easily has become. Yeah. Um, so, like, then it came into mud, and we see so many changes yeah. to mud over the years Facts. due to it, right? Due to yeah. competitive tournaments and and, Facts. I, and the thing is, like, would competitive Madden have the viewership it would have right now if it weren't for Ultimate Team? Okay, mm. great question. Debbie's gonna answer like an idiot because he's a moron, but this would have been a good conversation with me and Good Fox. Listen, <clears throat> that's facts. But what what Good Fox is missing. <laughs> What Gut Fox is missing is we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you're missing, Gut Fox, is we didn't want to go to Mutt. It wasn't, we weren't asking. The, the competitive Madden community was like, yo, man, we want to move to Mutt, man. We, we, we want, we're tired of this wreck shit. Plymouth Rock landed on us, nigga. Mutt came to us. We didn't, we didn't ask for that shit. Because when Mutt was when Mutt was starting with Toke Nasty and the rest of them guys, we were still on rags comfortable. And 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 Mutt was looked at like when we were kids. Remember when we were kids, when we were little boys, when we were playing Madden? Nobody used the all Madden team. Nobody used the AFC versus NFC. No, we all played regs. The only time we ever used the NFC, the AFC, or all Madden team was when we played the kid across the street that was dog shit in the game, and we wanted to just get a competitive game, so we would ask them to use the NFL or, or whatever. That's the only time we did that shit. But we never wanted to fucking play Ultimate Team. We felt like Ultimate Team was a fucking... Um, was a fucking was 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 just putting a all star team together and it wasn't fun. When they originally to told us we were going over there, we were like, nah, we wasn't cool. That's why a lot of the fucking players of old stopped playing because they didn't want to play an all Madden team. They didn't want to have an all star team and then and then fight. They didn't want that. They like playing regs. They like figuring out people and players. It was set up though. They set us up. It was an easy setup. EA felt like this. Listen to me. And I, and, I, and, I, and I know this for a fact. EA was always going with this ability thing, right? Then when they saw this ability thing in 09, they was going that direction. They just didn't have the competitive players going over there yet, right? So they always wanted to do that. They wanted you to pay for abilities. Because remember, in 09, all these abilities that you see in the game were free. They were all on regs. The gunslinger, the 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 trucking, all that shit that you see in the game in 09, if you go play back that game, all that shit was in regs for free. EA wanted to try to figure out a way for you to pay for that shit. So what they ended up doing is they wanted to bring the red guys over there to mutt to make more money. Because let me tell you something. As soon listen, when the listen, when you put abilities in the game, when you put abilities in the game, when you do power-ups and all that other shit like that, 
the normal mutt community is not going to pay for that. They didn't give a fuck about playing the game. They didn't give a fuck about competing that much. You know what I mean? The, the mutt guys at the time when we were on regs, the mutt guys, the only thing they liked was these new players in the packs and they liked to look at their players and they liked to look at the uniforms and then they would casually play Madden, ass Madden and da 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 da. They didn't really give a fuck about winning or losing or any of that shit, right? So if they didn't really give a fuck about losing or winning, then abilities wouldn't mean shit to them. They wouldn't use the training or the power-ups or all the dog shit that you got to do today. They wouldn't do the gunslinger and all. They wouldn't care about that shit. Only thing they cared about was getting the fucking Ed Reed, the Deion Sanders, because the look of it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I got this player. Oh, I pulled this pack. I pulled this. The reason why they pulled the, the, uh, the um, competitive Madden community to mutt was to make fucking more money, and they, and they used us, and they played us really good. Let me tell you how they played us. Remember when the first time they brought us to ultimate team remember when the first event started what did they start with anybody in here what did they fucking start with it was a regs tournament right the first event was a oh every year the first tournament would be a regs event right it, we had a live regs event where serious mo won or somebody else won or you know whatever so they say oh the first event is going to be old school classic mcs regs event the second one is going to be mutt and ultimate team and shit like that right just to kind of get, first get our feet wet, like, oh yeah, we're playing regs again. But then move out, gradually move to mutt the end of the year, right? They started like that. Then the next year they did the same thing. First game, first it was regs, and then it was ultimate team. And, and the players gradually moved over and did like that. Just a quick little gradual push. Then the next year they did the same thing, regs and ultimate team. The fourth year, remember this, this is a fact. When they introduced what abilities, right? Gunslinger and 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 first step and and trucking and all that other shit that you got to pay for. When they introduced that to the game, everybody was thinking the first tournament's going to be what regs, was it? Fuck no. They went straight to mud. Why? Because they were setting up, they were setting up competitive players for ultimate team to play. Abilities to buy abilities to play and buy gunslinger to buy trucking to buy all the shit that you used to get in regs for free. Now you got to pay for it. It was a setup. It was a setup. The whole they knew the whole time they were going to gradually push us in the ultimate team until we got so comfortable to where they just took out regs. That's why last year they didn't have a regs tournament. This year they didn't have a regs tournament. They just pushed us out of regs and they made everything ultimate team. Why? Because now it's abilities in the game. Now you got to pay for the shit that used to be for free. They, it, it was a whole motion in a cycle thing. So, it, so when Gut Fox says, why, why, did the, why did the regs go over the mutt? That was dumb move. That had nothing to do with us. Like I said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. We didn't want to play fucking the ultimate team. None of us did. We was all comfortable with regs. We was cool. We, we would have still been there today. But it was EA who pushed us over there to make more money because they needed the, they needed people to pay for the shit that they were getting for free. The abilities and shit that we had in the game of past for free, they wanted us to pay for it. That's what they wanted. That's why they dog walked us. They dog walked us. They slowly moved us over there. A lot of people stayed put. A lot of people said, fuck that. I'm not dealing with it because they saw it. They, 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 they eyeballed that. I saw that shit coming from a mile away. A long time ago when I was talking about this much shit, I was like, yo, why the fuck are we... Like, fuck the tournaments. Let's not even play in these tournaments no more. It's a pay to win anyway. They, oh, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. We're not pay to win because you can, you can sign up for the Rex tournament. You can play in the Rex tournament. We have one Rex tournament every year. Now they don't even do it anymore. No more Rex tournament. It's all ultimate team because they got you now. They got you hooked. They got you. You, are, you, know it, you know as soon as you get Madden, you know as soon as you get Madden, you don't even look at regs. These niggas don't even look at regs. They go straight to ultimate team and buying packs. They got you hooked. They got you drug. They got you drug addicted. <sniffs> Snorting that coke. You don't even. These motherfuckers. These competitive players. They don't even. They go straight into ultimate team and buying packs. Madden got you. From the beginning. Remember it started. Regs. Then ultimate team. They got you hooked nigga. It was a plan from the go. And Gut Fox is thinking it was something to do with competitive players going over there. We didn't want to go over there. None of us did. And then he thinks it's, oh, because your views fell. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Our views fell. 
What are, what are you talking? Where's the views at? We didn't even. We were playing in underground tournaments, comfortable playing regs and doing all that shit, traveling and shit. We was comfortable. We was good. There wasn't no views to be had. Toke Nasty was on top, and he was playing Ultimate Team. We didn't give a fuck about Toke or none of these clowns. EA was trying. EA was trying to get more money. It has everything to do with EA making more money. Because listen to me, what Gut Fox really doesn't know what he's talking about is EA never did a Madden tournament. They never hosted any of those events. The MCS, the 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 Madden Challenge, none of those events that used to go on in the past. EA had nothing to do with them. It was all Best Buy. It was Best Buy, Virgin Gaming. That was it. When as soon as they found a opportunity to make money. In in game sales, that's when EA said we'll start hosting the tournaments. No more, no, no, no. We don't need none of you sponsors no more. We'll host the tournaments, right? So we we'll host the tournaments to promote Ultimate Team. That's what they did. Come on, y'all. Come on, Gut Fox. Understand the understand the game. It had nothing to do with us. Like I said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. <laughs> no, probably not. I think it helps. You know, I, I think so. But at the same time, I, you know, I think and that most of the man players still don't play regs, you know, or, or at least there's a huge chunk of people that play Madden that watch football that just play regs and don't really get into Mutt, you know. So, yeah, uh, we, we, we would have stayed over there. I think Mutt helps it because it gets the same viewership that YouTube and everything else gets, obviously. No, it doesn't. But I do think there's a huge crowd of people that just still play regs. For the most part, yeah. and I think I think it's it's mutt is also a plus. I honestly think there should be. I, I think this going all to mutt was a little wild. I did think there was always a place for that regs tournament, no matter where it is, uh, no matter what part of the year it is. I always think there's a place for that, at least one of them. So the going all to mutt was is kind of wild this year, but I definitely think it, it, it helps in, in the grand scheme of With things. Abilities. When abilities came giving out, away the mutt cards, it. people being able to watch the mutt cards and talk about them, I think helps in the grand scheme of things it helps it doesn't help oh i think I, I think gut fox's frustration is when he was over there with mutt and there wasn't competitive players over there there was no metas you know guys was just comfortable which is you know it, it was appreciation of players coming out right when a Deion sanders was released or a barry sanders or a or a woodson or whatever these uh legendary players would come out it was appreciation they appreciated the person or the legend that was released bo jackson like oh my god i love bo jackson in the past i got bo jackson now when these players are released they treat them like dog shit they don't even give a fuck oh mike vick is released i mean how what's his speed is it speed 95 oh, i can't use mike vick like they'll go oh mike vick is released what's his speed let me see if i can use him i can't use him he's dog shit and they throw him away right it's no appreciation for the uh, legends anymore right when they release the legends they're like what's his speed is his speed ain't good, then fuck him, right? Back in the day when Mutt came out, they used to, they didn't give a fuck about none of the stats or anything. They used to be like, yo, man, this guy, he's amazing, man. He used to be, they used to appreciate these players in the packs and the bundles and the people that they used to get. Competitive guys don't appreciate that shit. They just looking at the stats. Don't give a fuck about none of these legends. Bo Jackson come out, they'd be like, oh, Bo Jackson out here. Yeah, what's, his, what's his speed in his trucking? Oh, it's not good? Fuck him. Fuck Bo Jackson. Like, and Gut Fox is right. The competitive players fucked Mutt over. They fucked them over because not only do they don't give a fuck about the packs or the bundles or none of these players that are released, but then they, they play the game to a meta. So when you get in the game and you just want to have fun with these builds and these players that you met, put together, you over here playing somebody that's just running some fucking YouTube meta shit. And then you're just like, fuck. You know, they're running glitches and all this other dog shit. Right? And you can't have fun no more. But that's not our fault. That's EA's fault. Because EA trying to make a, a, some more money with these power-ups and these bundles and all this other bullshit. You know, they needed more niggas to buy bundles. So they brought the competitive guys over there. Outside of, you know, giving money to community members, what has competitive benefited Ultimate Team? What is, How has I, it benefited? I, you know, this, these it? are the questions. And <laughs> these are the questions that EA's budget He's asking the wrong questions. <laughs> He's saying, what has the competitive Madden players benefited from Ultimate Team? Nothing. <laughs> it's what, it, you're asking the wrong question. You should say, what has EA benefited from competitive players going to Ultimate Team? A shit ton of money. Different currencies, upgrades, power-ups, trainings, abilities paid for, more, more, more. You know, like Kobe said, 
need more. But I got everything. You got the Muck community. You got Toke Nasty getting millions of views. You got um um Gud Fox. You got all the Mutt guys. Need more. <laughs> more. You know, that's what they did. They needed more. Asks the competitive team, right? What have you done for us? You know, is the viewership good enough to keep putting out millions of dollars for this competitive thing? No. I don't know. What what has it done? He said, he said. He said is the millions of dollars that EA puts in for competitive players to play Mutt is benefiting, is it benefiting EA? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Nigga, Dubby, you spent $10,000 on your team this year. Just you alone. <laughs> and now the rest of the competitive guys, how much they spend? You got, you, you got niggas spending so much money that won tournaments like Kiv asking other people his audience yo do you guys got a mud team because because this is too much money <laughs> aren't you aren't you the guy that made the most money in the mcs and you're asking a a guy that's working a nine to five can you borrow his team that's how expensive this shit is so all these guys that are competing are spending five thousand and up what are you talking about how is this benefiting the millions that the millions of the million dollars that ea is giving out is the money that they've taken from you already. They're making a profit. They, they, they're making a profit. About out 500 guys, out of 500 guys, they already made the fucking, they already made that money. They already made that million back. Now they just get extra money on the side. What are you talking about? The benefit that EA's making, spending a million dollars. They, they, dude, 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 if they was like, yo, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna give us percentage of what we um, sell in mutt cards to the first place winner, that motherfucker would get $5 million. Easy. <laughs> you remember they tried to do, they did that with Apex? They did that with Apex because nobody was joining the tournaments because the fucking prize money was dog shit. So what did, what did EA do? They were like, okay, all the bundles that you guys buy, we'll give you guys a percent, we'll, we'll take it all, we'll take it, we'll take a percent out and we'll give it to first place. That's what EA did for Apex because nobody was signing up for that shit because it was too much fucking money. But Madden, they ain't gonna give you dog shit. Uh, it's brought, I, I don't know if it's brought more players. Brought more money. I mean, that's honestly a great question. What has competitive done for the Mutt community? More money. You know, how many, I, uh, how many players, like, I, I didn't, I don't look at those leaderboards or whatever. How many players actually played in this, like, these, these qualifying for this Thanksgiving tournament? How many people have played? I, mean, I would probably tell you. That's where they're going. I, uh, guess, guess how many people played. <sighs> Five, no more than a thousand. I don't Five thousand. You know, well, what, chat, what do we think? People. I don't know. Like, how many of you guys do you think? Twenty three hundred. Five K people. Five thousand on both. Damn, I made top. I made top twenty in the first in one day. I might be goaded. Oh my god. A yeah, thousand people played um, a competitive game, right? Yeah. Like at least one. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know how many how many played multiple games. Whatever you guys, uh, whatever it doesn't matter. That's out of like the millions and millions and millions of, of copies they sell, right? About like six mm -hmm. million a year in Madden, right? Mm -hmm. So five thousand people is is their entire million dollar plus prize pool plus, and I think this is actually even more money that EA puts in is is the uh, uh, what what the hell do you call it? The organization around the tournament, right? They pay oh, RG yeah. salary and benefits. Oh, yeah. They pay. They pay Matt Mark Howe and whoever else is, is doing comp stuff. They got that studio. They got all that stuff. They got all this focus around comp. And, like, and organizing big events, you know this, with your tournament, it's not easy, right? Like, with your, you know, bot wars that you do. Yeah. yeah. So, like, that is a ton of organizational effort and, and uh, money that is going into comp Madden and into Mutt that, that maybe, maybe, and I'm not saying it would go all back into gameplay. It would all go back into you know, franchise, ultimate team, other portions of the game. But it does feel like the organizational uh, uh, focus of, of Madden is kind of slanted a little bit. And it, it doesn't help the overall product. That they What the fuck is Gut Fox talking about? <laughs> He's like, yo, they're, they're putting all this money into um, 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 competition and tournaments and, you know, the broadcasters and the million dollars that they're giving out the prize pools and all that. That's already paid for. First of all, they got sponsors. They got Snickers sponsor. They got Starbucks sponsor. They'll probably pay the commentators or, you know, the stream or whatever. 
And then on top of that, the million dollar prize is being paid for what? You said 5,000 5, people competing, correct? 5,000 people competing in this one tournament. 5,000, that's 5,000 people that spent over a thousand, two thousand dollars and and up, okay? Because to compete in these man tournaments, your team needs to be at least an 89 overall. And to get to an 89 overall, you need to do what? Buy bundles, right? And if you didn't buy bundles and you try to cheat, you got banned from the auction house. You got blocked. They kicked you off. So people aren't buying mutt coins anymore like they used to. So now all 5,000 people are legitimately paying $89 for bundles. That's 5,000 guys paying for and they And they have to boost up their team to get to an 89. So each of them guys pay, pay maybe $1,000. Some of them paid 10. Some of them paid five. Some of them paid six over here. Of the six, seven, eight, nine, ten over there, nine. 5,000 guys spending thousands of dollars to boost up their team to compete in this tournament. That's a shit ton of money, bro. That's more than maybe like, that, if I can add that up, I don't know if I can add up all that money, but that's about like maybe $10 million and maybe more. And they only got give a shit uh, uh, a million dollars out of that and maybe maybe another 300,000 and then they got the sponsorship with Snicker and Starbucks to pay for everything else. They're making a huge benefit. What is Gut Fox talking about? He's saying all oh, they're putting in all this work for um, com competition, competitive Madden. But what are they getting out of it? A shit ton of money. <laughs> they're getting a shit ton of money. All these up upgrades, power ups and abilities and all this shit like that. You need the latest card in order to compete, stupid. It's a pay to play game. So these 5,000 guys need to pay to play or to pay to win. So what is Good Fox talking about? EA's making a shit ton of money on this shit. They're making a huge profit. That's what they're getting from it. The reason why they brought competitive Madden players to mutt to make more money. You mutt motherfuckers like Gut Fox and Toke Nasty, you guys, yeah, back in the day, you guys used to buy mutt cards and play it for the love of the game. You guys didn't want to power up. You guys didn't want no fucking abilities and all that other shit like that because you guys just like, like seeing players. But EA came up with a way to add abilities, add power-ups, add all this dog shit and more currency to the game in order to what? Make more money. This had nothing to do with the competitive guys. The competitive guys would have happily stayed on regs. Like I said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. <laughs> Plymouth Rock landed on us. There is so much try, uh, effort there. And, and, and as a comparison, facts. look at what Rockets has done with Mutt.gg this year, right? Last year, he's been running Mudhead forever. Yep. And then, like, I think he even said himself, I mean, there, there was just so much effort around the competitive tournaments that he put on the weekly basis on those Fridays. They get info every And, like, quarter. he wasn't facts. really able to update the site as much. Now that he's kind of off of Mudhead and he's doing Mudd.gg full time, do, do you, I mean, you probably know that site is significantly better than Mudhead. Absolutely. I mean, I, I was using it the other day just to make a video about, I didn't know you could even. What do they don't get? I mean, yeah, that's funny. They call it the Madden Classic. <laughs> they now call the Madden Classic Mutt on, on Mutthead. I mean, on Mutt. <laughs> How was the Madden Classic Mutt? Oh, yeah, that's right. Two, three years ago, we played Mutt. So now the Classic is now <laughs> so stupid. I mean, definitely has yeah. been been a lot better for sure. You know, I mean, well, that's that's. Yeah, this conversation with w, just I just feel like the resource thing is like, I mean, that's that's an EA problem. You know, I think, I mean, essentially, you could talk about anything that's that anything else other than Mutt is taking resources away from Mutt. You know, I could come out here and say, Mutt, you know, w franchise is, is taking resources that's away why from this conversation with you know w what I'm saying? I could say the yard or, or the other dumbass modes they have are taken away from, from yeah. Mutt or they're taken away from competitive. That, that needs to be in a prize pool. You know, that's yeah, basically, like, you the thing. Comp is not the number one issue at EA. My my point was that it has hurt the game mode of Mutt, and it and uh, it, it's probably not great as an organization for MLB to go the same way. But face of the franchise isn't okay. Now we're done. He's right. He's absolutely hundred right, a hundred percent right. Competitive Madden has hurt Mutt to a to a point where it's just not even it's not even playable anymore. Everybody wants to glitch. Everybody wants to run win everybody wants to fucking um run metas it of course it hurt ultimate team but it ain't our fault they it, it they want to make money to they make way more money with us over there than with you over there see gut fox thinks that oh well millions of people play bought the game madden right 
and they're casuals and casuals would love to just play mutt and be comfortable and cool. And if they just put all the comp competition on regs, mutt could get back to making all those views on YouTube like they used to get all the credit that they used to and be great again. That's facts. But the problem with that is you talk nasty, uh, gut Fox and you regular, um, just, just, just want to have fun with mutt. You guys would not spend as much money as competitive players. Competitive players spend more money and faster because competitive guys want to edge. They want to get an edge. They want to get a up. They want to, they, you know, they want to get an upper hand on their opponent. You don't want to do that. When Gut Fox, back in the day, when Gut Fox and Toke Nasty, a new car would come out. Yeah, they would get it, show it on YouTube, ha, you know, you know, explain it and da, 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 right? But if, but, but they wouldn't upgrade it. They wouldn't power it up it right away. You know, they just get in a couple of games with it, have fun, ass madden. It'd be a good time. But when it comes to competitive guys, they spend more money faster. They get $89. They get a card right away. When, as soon as they get the card, they're not explaining what the card is. They want to power that fucking card up. They want to boost that motherfucker up to 2 million. They want to get that motherfucker all the way boosted up so they can get an edge on their opponent. So they can get in the weekend league or wherever the fuck they want to go. And they want to compete. So everything is moving faster when it comes to competitive guys. That's what Gut Fox don't want to understand. It moves a lot faster. Never, never have you ever heard a guy, as soon as the game drops back in the day, spend $2,000 the first day. What was competitive guys talking about? First day, I'm spending $2,000. Come check me out. They was, the money's, it's going a lot faster. When you got, when Gut Fox and you, and Gut Fox and Toke Nasty, when you motherfuckers, back in the day, when we were all on regs, Back in the day, you guys were just comfortable. You was like, oh, new car coming out. Okay, let's see if we get it. Oh, check this out. You guys were slow. You guys was taking your time. You know, you play you play a game here and there, ass mad and have a good time. Go back, look at your team. Hey guys, look at this. This is my lineup. I'm I'm you know, you guys were slow. But competitive guys are they don't they, as soon as they open up packs, they're selling everything to get a uh, upper hand. Oh, I got a dog shit, I got a dog shit um 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 bundle. And they sell everything. That's what they're doing, Gut Fox. EA's realizing that competitive guys spend faster, spend more, and spend faster, right? So they, they make more money with these guys. They make more money because they're trying to get an upper hand. It's a pay-to-win video game. So in order to win, I got to pay. But Gut Fox don't understand that. He thinks it's something to do with our, it has something to do with our views. That's the reason why <laughs> Uh, the competitive players had to go to mutt. No, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> we didn't want to go to mutt, <laughs> and it had nothing to do with our views. It had to do with EA making more money. Simple. If you look at the logic, if you look at back in the day, back in the day, I remember when GS, you know, when we weren't even on mutt. I remember when GS would have a million coins, and that used to be, he used to be a god. He used to be a way up to a million coins. You remember that shit? A million coins. It was eye popping. Nobody had a million coins. That's a lot. Today, a million coins is like nothing. It's, they'll laugh at you if you only have a million. You only got a million? <laughs> you can't even do a video say, I got a million coins. You can't even do that shit. It's a joke because back then, like I said, they were slower. It's a fact. If you go look back then, 100,000 coins was a lot because they took their time. But today, <laughs> That ain't nothing. It's dog shit. They laugh at you. If I had a million coins right now, they'd be like, that's all you got? You can only buy like a gold with that, buddy. And how much, and what's your training at? That's what good fucks don't understand. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. They knew how we spend. They knew how we needed to get that upper hand. We needed that juice. We needed more, more, more. That's why every, that's why that's why the data and, and, and EA is trying to, they, you know, they're trying to, they, they, they're trying to keep pace with the competitive guys. 90 overall is not enough today. They're like, why can we only stay at a 90? We want to get to 95. How much do we got to give you? They want that upper hand. It's the drug, baby. Gut Fox, you're not seeing that? That ain't nothing to do with it. If they put us all back on regs, if all, if, hey, we're doing all our competition back on regs, you'll see a slowdown in mud. You'll see the biggest slowdown ever. You'll see niggas not spending money like they used to. You'll go back to uh, 90, like a million coins is cool again. 
you'll see a fucking huge slowdown. Nobody's spending like that no more. But ever since the competitive guys got over there, spending is going crazy. The money, the market, everything up in the air. And they got you doing it. That's the thing about it. Gut Fox don't even realize the, uh, the competitive community got you spending more money. See, Gut Fox, he's trying to keep up with the competitive guys too, and he doesn't even know it. He's sitting there going, I need the new Mike Vick. I need this. I need this. I need this. To, I need to get on Twitch. I need to get on Twitch. I need to get, I need to get this guy. I need the, the new cars coming out. He's powering up. He's doing abilities. He's doing all the shit that we're doing. He's not in, he's not the old gut fox that took his time with cards and one card to come out, fear Matt. He didn't do that. He's doing what we want him to do. He's running at our pace now. Good Fox is running at our pace and he's asking us and he's asking the question, why did the competitive guys come over here? Why did EA do that? Well, look at you. Look at you. What do you got right now? Good Fox, a 90 overall team and the game's only been out a month. In the past, back in the day, if you go back before we came over there to Mutt, nigga, two months in the Madden, the, the, the game would be at like what? A, a highest, the highest overall would be like 80 right now. It was slow back then. You didn't get to 90 till like what? The end of the year. Oh, close to the end of the year. With like three months left in a year before the next game comes out. Now we're at a fast pace. Now we're like only two months in the game and we're at 90. Next month we'll be at 95. 99 will be before the year ends. We're at a faster pace, Gut Fox. Because we spin faster. And you're, and you're running our pace. You're running at our time. Fuck. God damn it, I'm so fucking good at this. I'm the best goddamn podcast on earth. God. I'm so fucking good, dog. Y'all niggas need to clip this. This is just some knowledge is just getting thrown out. He asked the question and I'm answering it the right way. W don't know what the fuck he's talking about. W's a moron. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Why, I don't know. Why, why did competitive? Why did EA go to competitive? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they do that for. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> the money. <laughs> Shit. Got you niggas spinning like dog. Crazy. They made, they made more money last year than they ever made. Now this year they don't pace the beat last year. Come on. Come on, Gut Fox. Understand. I mean, you're supposed to be the smart guy. He's supposed to be the smart guy in the Madden community. Don't he, don't he see that? <clears throat> Doesn't he see that? You, you, you boys better start buying power-ups facts. <laughs> you know, Chewbacca used to be a no-money-spent guy. He used to be a no-money-spent guy all his life. Until we, the competitive Madden players, went to mud. Those solos went right out the window. Now that nigga, he, he, he got to spend money. He had to quit. He had to quit YouTube. <laughs> he had to quit the other day. Yeah, you know what? I quit. <laughs> we making the, we are having you spend so much fucking money where you got to quit. You, you know what? I got, I know I got a m million subscribers, but I got to quit. <laughs> That's how fast we got you spending your money. Come on, y'all. It's fucking, come on, man. He retired. Yeah, he had to. He had to, he, he couldn't keep up. It was too much. Can't casually play Madden no more. You can't have a job and play Madden and, 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 and not spend money. Come on. Shit, them solos, man. What they doing with them solos today? Shit, you don't want to play no solos. Have your motherfucking stupid ass. You know, they boot niggas out of solos now. <laughs> Randomly. Now, let's get to this. <clears throat> My man, J-Mail, in a crack house. Oh, yeah, 129. Now listen, J-Mel, j, -Mel, j -Mel Flo, I told y'all niggas this nigga's on crack, but look at this nigga playing Madden in a crack house. Check this out. Go listen. You got to listen to the sound though. Go. <laughs> let's go, man. GG, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this stud comes in the house. I gotta get something to drink, y'all. Man, I ain't gonna get nothing to drink. I get nothing to drink. 
Let's go. I like playing D. Don't like. Look at this stud coming out. Niggas, I don't like. Yo! What's up doing in here? Nothing? No. Huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> the niggas in a crack house. Hey, what y'all niggas doing in here? Nothing? It's a stud. You heard that stud just walk in the house? That's a stud that just walked in the crack house. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all not lit? Y'all not lit? No. Geez. What's up, boy? You remember me? Y'all not lit? That's a fucking stud. <laughs> y'all not lit up in here? What's up, boy? Yeah, I met you. Yeah, he used to go to my lady. Um, no, I just seen him outside. We're not talking about that. Let's go, huh? GG's, man. It's back there. To the left? Yeah. yeah. Why are you talking about that noise? The cops is here. Why y'all making all that noise? The cops is here. <laughs> y'all gonna make the spot hot. I told you this nigga's playing in the crack house, bro. <laughs> you gonna make the spot hot? Where, where, where you at? <laughs> y'all gonna make the spot hot. Why you mad, B? I'm not doing that. Now we gotta come here. You don't wanna make y'all shit hot. Okay. How's it gonna be? You played your body here. You picked the Packers. I'm gonna whoop these niggas' ass. I'm gonna go leaderboards. Two thousand three hundred. Yeah. She got chained up by 55 pounds. <laughs> That's on record. I gotta stop moving. Hey, you got tissues? Look, nigga. Look, you got tissues? Yeah, I'm gonna shut up, man. You tissues? Hey, what that mean? What you bring? No, these are people's tissues. Where the tissue at, brother? Alright, man, now I got this on. Yo, she was like, yo, 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 where the, where the tissue at? Nah, you gotta, you gotta go get some. <laughs> they don't got no tissue in the bathroom. This is a crack house. <laughs> yo, 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 I gotta go to the bathroom. Where the tissue? Yeah, you, you gotta go get some. <laughs> this, nigga's, this nigga's in the crack house, dog. All right. <laughs> He's playing Madden in the crack house. This is beautiful. I love this. <laughs> yo, yo, brother, where the, where the tissue at? Hey, you gotta go get some. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta bring your own tissue in the crack house. This is a fucking crack house. What, what are you talking about? What are you talking about tissue? What are you talking about? We, we, we making drugs in here. <laughs> you asking for a tissue? From where? From where? You gotta go get some. We got forty nine viewers up in here. I'm probably gonna play one more, yo. That's crazy. Too dirty. I need some weed. I'm just thinking about getting my money, man. Somebody ran off on J Mail, dog. Somebody scammed J Mail. Somebody scammed J Mail in the crack house. I do this awful. Either way, I got weed. You said you do the same thing, so you can't be mad. That's true. That nigga got scammed. The scammer got scammed. This nigga dashboarded. What'd he say? What'd he do? He dashboarded. What that mean? He went to the home screen. <sighs> I'll see if he send it. <laughs> that nigga ain't gonna send J-Mail shit. Finally, somebody scammed J-Mail. Yeah, Shout out to that nigga. I'm about to. Shout out to J-Trey. J-Trey for the scam, baby. Next game is gonna be a next gen, yep. Shout out to my man Jay Trey for the scam. Show you 40. He owe me 40. You gotta send me 40 now. <laughs> now get that money. Oh, nigga about to put hands on J Mel. You know he That's how y'all see That's how you sell a game, man. You know he owe that dope money. He pulled a J Mel. See how these niggas just disappeared, man? <laughs> yeah. That's why I make people pay up front, yo. That's why the nigga make a nigga pay up front. <laughs> The scamming nigga got scammed. <laughs> that's, hey, that's why I make a nigga pay up front. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga drug dealer, like, yo, I'm not gonna get my forty. 
Nah, he scammed me, bro. He, he scammed me. You sure? Yeah, he scammed me. Can I still get that crack, though? <laughs> you ain't getting no line until that nigga pay you. J Mail mad. <laughs> he offline? He offline? Look nah, at I think he guy. might pay. Yeah, he set the home screen. I don't know where he at. Nah, he disappeared, y'all. I think he. Nah, he disappeared. Shout out to my nigga for the scam. Hell yeah. Look at that nigga drug dealer more concerned about this nigga ran, man. Jesus. He said, send the cash out. <laughs> You're not getting nothing. No response. No response. Send the cash out. None. Shout out to my nigga. Shout out my hey man. If y'all on Xbox, man, add my man. What do you think about getting my money, man? Hey. Hey, hey, if you on the Xbox, add my nigga J Trey GBBA, man. Send him a message and say, hell yeah, nigga, nice scam. Scamming that nigga J Mail. What up? We've been trying to get this nigga for a lifetime. This nigga been this nigga been scamming for the last two years. And he got scammed. Shout out to my nigga J, man. Shout out to my nigga J, man, for the scam. One time for the one time. Shout out my nigga Jay for the scam. I do this awful. He about to sleep with the fishes. <laughs> he about Either to way, I got fishes. weed. You know I got weed. He said you do the same thing so you can't be mad. That's true. That's true. <laughs> look at it. Look at look at the nigga. Look at the look at the look at the drug dealer putting hands Man, on him. Here, owe me nigga, money. That's an easy blow. Better get that forty. Better get that forty. He better pay you. What's wrong with you, nigga? You you want this crack, right? He said go to bed. Mm. Better get my phone, nigga. That nigga with the hot scam. He's still waiting for that him to send that cash out. Now that nigga know how we feel. <laughs> now that nigga know how we feel when we beat his ass and we send we we ask him to send us the cash out. <laughs> and that nigga disappear. <laughs> now that nigga know how it feel. <laughs> Stupid nigga. Everybody should scam this nigga. Oh man, come on, man! Still waiting. <laughs> they call big. So what? That's the end of the stream. We've been streaming for like two, three hours. I might just lay down, lay down, sleep. Where you gonna sleep at, nigga? Outside. I'm salty. This nigga ran off my money, bro. This nigga really ran off my money. <laughs> Salty. This nigga really ran off on my money, man. Fucking piece of shit. But exactly, they mean, but they be scamming. They be shit. <laughs> <laughs> he telling. Let me stop. Go to sleep. I gotta go to sleep. He telling Pablo to plug. They be scamming. <laughs> Yo, Pablo, you don't know what this nigga be doing, dog. He telling his. He telling his plug how they be scamming. <laughs> Yo, man, they be scamming. <laughs> Where do you think they got that shit from? They laughing. They say, I don't know where you're sleeping at, nigga. Straight to the fucking pit. After the scam, J Milk got sleepy. He said 500 or better. I'm going to see if he coming here. He should be coming here. Oh, Yo, look at this nigga. Look at the message he sent. Yo, <laughs> where my money at? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, what's your boy, your mama, back at it again, man? Thank you guys for joining the stream. <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all that. Shout out to the shout out to.